there everyone and welcome to The Mindful Musician. I'm Cosmin, I'm a guitarist, I'm a singer, a professional educator and martial artist from Bucharest, Romania and today I will show you how to differentiate between odd meter, polyrhythm and odd rhythmic subdivisions so that you can use these principles to convey rhythmic dynamic and unexpectedness to your guitar playing. First things first, let's find out what each of these things is and how they have been used by other artists after you have given this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Number one, odd meter is when whatever it is that you're playing covers sequences grouped as an odd number of beats, which will most likely be manifested by all the instruments together. Popular odd meter examples could be, let's say, uh, a 5 over 4 or a 7 over 4. And some examples we could take, for instance, Dave Brubeck's Take 5. The main theme for Mission Impossible. Or Guthrie Govan's Fives. So, your odd sequence will start on beat one again and again. Number two, polyrhythms occur when the drums play, let's say, 4x4, four four, while you, on the other hand, are playing a riff or a phrase which occupies an odd number of subdivisions played against that 4x4 four four meter. For instance, you're playing groups of 5 16th notes against a 4x4 four four meter. The discussion here is very complex and I won't enter into much more detail than this as many cultures have a very distinct way of treating this principle but the main idea is that when you superimpose two or more different rhythmic pulses one against the other a polyrhythm is born. Famous examples Lateralis from Tool where the drums are playing a pulse of six while the vocals are playing eighth notes. Another interesting fact is that in order for you to finish a phrase which is played in this manner, you either have to play as many cycles as it takes until you get to start on beat one again, or modify your phrase in order to finish it when it is appropriate for you or the context. For instance, it takes five bars of four by four for a group of five sixteenth notes to start again on beat one. Yes, maths again, you guessed it. Five bars of four by four means 80 sixteenth notes. Subdivide that by 16 and you get five. This means 16 cycles of five sixteen notes. <laughs> If you don't want to spend five bars playing the same thing, you can maybe play five cycles of five sixteenth notes, which means 25 sixteenth notes plus a group of seven sixteenth notes, and you get 32 sixteenth notes, which is two bars of four by four beats. You subdivide and arrange your riff or phrase how you see it fit, if you want to get to control and choose where it actually ends. Also, accents are important and can make a great difference. For instance, you can play your five pulse based phrases, breaking them down by accentuating either like one, two, three, one, two. <laughs> or one, two, one, two, three. Just like you have triplets, meaning three equal notes played over a beat. These being the most popular, you can have quintuplets or even septuplets. Examples, quintuplets or septuplets. Also, watch out, the higher the tempo, the tougher these will be to play because more notes on one beat means faster playing. A famous example, John Petrucci's solo in Aerotomania featuring quintuplets. Now, what I'll do to thoroughly exemplify these is to take a phrase and manifest it 
as odd meter, as a polyrhythm, and then as odd rhythmic subdivisions, so that you can see here and feel the differences in dynamic and hopefully have a, a more clear image in respect to these concepts. Now that I have hopefully sparked your interest and shed some light into this complex and intricate world that rhythm represents, I have prepared a similar approach for phrases developed from the one I played based on a seven note pulse that you can find and learn on my Patreon page, tabs, playthrough and backings included. So go check out the link in the text description below and also leave a comment if you have any questions or thoughts on this matter. I'll see you in the next one and until then press the like button for this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you!